Making you further, faster and cleaner is the mantra of Sunox Group, and it's doing so with its fuel conditioners, emulsifiers and stabilizers. It's trading on the Aquas Exchange with a market cap of £38 million, and its aim is to become the energy transition environmental stock. To talk to us about the company, we are joined by the chief executive, Ben Richardson. So, Ben, first of all, what are these products that you make and will they make the world a greener, cleaner place? Well, thank you very much, Sarah. Appreciate being invited on today. Um, and yes, absolutely, uh, we can make the world a, a greener place. And uh, the important thing about Sonox is that we can do it immediately. So um, I'm, a, I'm a guy who spent uh, his entire career in, in finance and I gave it all up because I believe uh, wholeheartedly in the product of Solnox. Um, we are a green tech company, so we own the IP on, as you rightly say, emulsifiers and fuel conditioners, which make fuel burn better. And by making fuel burn better, it means you need less of it. And therefore, at this time when we're all trying to uh, reduce our emissions, both uh, corporately and on an individual basis, we absolutely provide that immediate solution. So is, is the technology, is your product still patent pending or is it out there? Can I go and buy some? No, it's, it's absolutely um, uh, patented already. Here's, uh, here's an example of the petrol conditioner uh, and this will be available uh, uh, with Amazon um, in Q1 next year. Had hoped to get it in the shops for Christmas so we could all have bought some for the planet. But uh, unfortunately, uh, Black Friday and then the Christmas rush means that uh, it's been a little delayed. But absolutely, we're, we're ready to go. And um, the product is already in multiple trials in multiple locations across multiple sectors. OK, so if the product's still in trials, does it mean it's not quite ready yet? Or is it a product that's constantly in, in evolution and actually what's being offered on Amazon is just a, a beta product? No, no, it's uh, when I say it's in trials, it means because uh, people are, are proving to themselves how much fuel it's going to save them. Um, we have already uh, multiple uh, successful clients who've been using the product. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, we have a company called Best Block, uh, which hauls concrete blocks uphill and down dale. They've used the product for 12 months. They've done over a million miles and they've saved 8% on their fuel. Uh, that's great for a trucking example with buses, the same sort of idea. Um, EM Horsburgh up in Scotland. They've been taking people to and from hospital and they've uh, done 10,000 miles and saved 9%. But every day we get more trial results, more happy customers who've saved money in their cars and their vans and in their uh, uh, other forms of transport. So um, no, we're absolutely up and, up and running. So how does it work, Ben? Talk to me as the non-mechanically minded lady who has a car. Well, I only did GCSE chemistry, but it's something I'm really into it, interested in. Um, we have a PhD in green chemistry, uh, Dr. Dan Clark, who can explain this to the nth degree. But anyway, um, the, the simple uh, idea is that the amount or volume of emissions depends on the quality of combustion. And what Solnox has is various mechanisms which improve that combustion. So uh, two, two things um, in, in, in this fuel conditioner, here's the diesel one, uh, just in case. <laughs> um, we have a, a thing called a glycol ether, which uh, when, when it goes into the engine, it uh, decomposes with heat to release oxygen. Uh, we also um, have uh, emulsification technology in here. And what that means is that any free water in the fuel, uh, and all fuel has water in it, uh, and any free water in the fuel tank, which is always there because of condensation, we take that water and emulsify it, so push it into the fuel. Um, and now you can imagine water in, encapsulated with fuel, water heats up and at 100 degrees will vaporize and that scatters the fuel and that gives more oxygen uh, everywhere. So we're adding oxygen through, through uh, natural chemicals and we're also adding oxygen through um, the, the, the addition of water. So that's, that's, that's the one side, the, the oxygen mechanisms. Then we add uh, surfactants and detergents. So we clean the engine from the inside out in the same way Shell V-Power and others, they have surfactants, detergents. Uh, uh, we, we have those uh, similar products. And uh, we also add lubricity. So make everything that much more lubricated. It, burn, it, it uh, uh, means that everything uh, 
con uh, goes contrary to the friction that's in, in the engine uh, and, uh, and helps that whole process work that much better. So across those three concepts, um, uh, together, they, they make a huge difference in, in fuel consumption. And as I said, in the successful trials we've already had, um, we're seeing fuel reductions anywhere from eight to 15%. So is it just for cars or is it for slightly larger transportation infrastructure? No, it's for, so solids can improve all liquid hydrocarbons and indeed biofuels as well. So, um, so cars, vans, trucks, buses, uh, as I mentioned, but also all mining equipment, um, generators in, um, that, 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 that are required for the bottom of, uh, for instance, telecom masts, um, all sorts of massive ships, um, in, including uh, some of the world's biggest polluting uh, ships on the planet, uh, can all benefit. And we've, we've got a large uh, scale sea trial underway at the moment, and we're getting some fantastic results there, uh, improving power and torque whilst reducing um, exhaust and engine temperatures. So it's basically showing that the engine's working that much better, um, which is what, what we're, we're seeing elsewhere. So it sounds a beautiful idea. Does anybody else have anything similar? Well, no, to be honest, um, which is really exciting, but it's a blessing and a curse. Um, I think if there was a fuel emulsification society, we could all say, oh, the fuel emulsification society says this. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have one of those. So we, we are unique uh, and patented as such, as you rightly mentioned earlier. Um, but uh, what, we, what we offer is um, something that much different from other fuel additives. So there are lots of additives out there. We've all seen them in the, uh, as, as you go into the kiosk paying for your petrol, but they tend to be all fossil fuel uh, additives that just add waste products from refineries uh, to, to the fuel and just make that fuel burn harder. And when they make that fuel burn harder, they invalidate warranties and uh, um, and, and it means that, in effect, you're sort of squirting lighter fluid onto the fire, giving it that accelerator uh, thing. Whereas what we're trying to do is, is take, or what we are doing, I should say, is, is we're taking the energy that's already in the fuel and we're maximising that. So we're making it burn smarter, uh, which means you let, need less of it. Uh, and the beauty about uh, making fuel burn better, we've talked about um, the, the cost saving side of it, but there's dramatically improved uh, greenhouse emission reductions and also dramatically improved uh, particulate matter reductions. And you know that, those particulate matters, they go up into the jet stream, they come down on us uh, and we breathe them in. So it's lethal for mammals uh, like us and causes all sorts of asthma and everything else. Um, but it's, it's also terrible for the planet. So we get black carbon arriving at the uh, Arctic uh, and that is obviously black and uh, you know, against the white background is, is ex accelerating the, the melt. So um, it's very important that, uh, yes, there's a great, uh, a great uh, story with fuel saving, but the emission saving is, is immense. And those that use the product will also get a, a wonderful ESG story and indeed um, uh, be saving the planet. So I suppose the, the COP26 climate change forum sort of played um, a sort of free marketing for the company. You talked about Amazon as being one sort of marketing retail opportunity. So in terms of your marketing, how are you making consumers aware that this is available? Well, um, we raised some money back in, in July and uh, really have been banging the drum ever since. So we've hired a, a very good uh, PR company who is now getting us into the national press. And every time we have an article out, out uh, you know, we get a lot of interest and, and people are buying, uh, buying direct from us. Um, you mentioned COP26. Now COP26 talked about the hydrogens and the green ammonias and the futures of, of green technology. And we absolutely know that we need to do that. And we are 100% supportive of that. What we're trying to do is, is um, accept the fact that fossil fuels are here. They're here to stay, unfortunately. Nothing gets made without oil. Um, and you know, ships and airplanes, they, they, there isn't the battery technology at the moment to, uh, uh, to be able to, um, to, to replace fossil fuels. 
Um, so what we're doing is making that immediate impact on the transition period between now and when we get to the, the ultimate goal of, of hydrogen, et cetera. So you talk there about doing a, a, a fund raise. Is this a, a frequent event on your corporate calendar? I'm just trying to get my head around whether, you know, your venture requires large sums of capital to progress. No, is, is the answer to that. Um, we, we, we did our fundraise so that we had the capital to hire the right people and to, as I said, uh, get the PR uh, machine going. The product is already here and now um, and selling it uh, as, as far and wide as we can. Um, so uh, what we've done at Sonox um, is we've tried to uh, create a, a very small lean board uh, with low costs. And we've, we've got a, a massive chemicals company called Nurian. Uh, they're part of the Carlisle Group, they're former Asker Noble, former ICI, um, and they make the product for us. Um, they can make it in scale anywhere in the world and, and guarantee uh, delivery for us. Um, but what I'm also trying to do is have sales organizations across the globe uh, who already have networks selling uh, similar, obviously not the same, but similar uh, concepts and products to their networks. Uh, we're having them sell uh, on our behalf. So. What we've got is a global network of sales organizations already there and uh, expanding all the time, uh, selling it for us whilst we keep our costs small um, and, uh, uh, and, and our overheads low. So uh, should be uh, big sales with small costs. Very good. Now, at the moment, you're on the Aquas Exchange. Is it serving you well? And do you view this as being a launch pad into other exchanges? Well, I'd like to say a big thank you straight away to the Aquas Exchange. They've been really, really good to us and really supportive. Um, I fully endorse what they're doing and uh, they're a great, as I say, a great bunch. So um, we are currently um, experiencing low volumes in, in our trading activity. And uh, I know that Alistair and his crew are looking to, to gain further investors and we will welcome any uh, other platforms that, that join and the opportunity to, to have more retail investors uh, buy the Sonox shares. Okay, um, I wouldn't... I to wouldn't answer your second part of that, um, you know, we, as I said, we need to go where we need to go to get the stock price up. We need to be able to have the right uh, ability for people to, to buy the Sonox shares because it's a fantastic story. And I would delight in telling anyone this. As, as you can see, I'm rather enthusiastic about it. So... Um, so we've mentioned AIM before, um, and uh, it's a possibility, but uh, it's not a foregone conclusion. I think with our revenue, then we will attract new investors regardless of whatever exchange we're on. Okay, so you talk about possibilities there. I know that there were ambitions to eventually become a dividend payer. Is that still an ambition? Well, it's, it's very much an ambition. Um, we have, as I said before, we have very low costs. And uh, to give an example, just one shipping company of size would create uh, tens of millions in revenue. Um, so uh, that would more than uh, pay, pay the, the two million or so costs that we envisage this year. And um, uh, to, to, to think about the scale of, of the market, I mean, Sonox can influence every, every drop of fuel on the planet uh, that is, is liquid hydrocarbon. Um, so 100 million barrels of oil a day, we can improve every single drop. So if you think about uh, the amount of oil in petrol stations, refineries, fuel distributions, uh, what gets used in mines every day, and the massive uh, uh, spend on uh, and consumption in governments and defence, you know, it, the, 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 uh, the possibilities of selling Solnox are vast. Very good. There is a nice ring to that, Ben. Solnox, the environmental influencer. And with that, we shall come to an end, but it's been an absolute pleasure. Ben Richardson, Chief Executive of Solnox Group. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Sarah. Really enjoyed it.